Most people in life are looking for how to make a life worth living and their families having. The game players of the world are the people that will put their hands in someone's packages, in someone's pocketbooks, in someone's baggage, and ruin someone's electronic cords, or ruin someone's books, or tear things out of their Bibles or their crayons, and will do things mischievous. They are little boys and little girls that never grew up. They are foolish people that are not in God's house. They are probably in the house of Satan, but they don't care because they don't believe in God. They don't believe God could help them. They don't God believe that God can transform them. They don't believe that God will serve them. And they don't believe it because they don't want to serve God. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth. And a woman in my life has failed to show up so many times now and talk to me that isn't even funny. But I'm not inviting all the women of the world to come and talk to me as if there's something to me. I'm not. If you have a heart to support my ministry, for people like me who are victims of police brutality, police hazing, criminality, and basically identity theft, sibling fraud, and hopefully not too much more of, although it continues daily, cybercrime on my life and my electronics, my cell phone, my computer, and everything I own, I'm asking you to think about our ministry. Our ministry, M2M Mission, is about helping one person at a time. It's about making a short or long-term commitment to me and the concept of helping me or other people like me who've been a victim like that of all kinds of abuse from gaslighting to psychological to emotional to physical to sexual to all the different abuses that people dole out when they want to take advantage of a person who's going through poverty or going through indigency or going through homelessness and literally helping out. What it means we're looking for is literally cash donations so that people like me or others like me can eat, that the animals that we as pagans support can also have some extra nourishment that they don't get from our current environments that is full of trash that they cannot figure out if it's food or not. And openly we're also looking for gift cards more specifically never the green duck but always some sort of quality Visa card that doesn't require a lot of online interference, meaning where somebody has to hook it up to a bank account and all this sort of stuff, which is a total invasion of privacy. We like the Walmart Visa card. We like, obviously, American Express type of Visa card because things are protected and it allows someone to have a set amount where they can go off and buy a new piece of clothing because someone in the hood has ruined the things they purchased. And it allows them to get the things they need to do for their choices in life, their faith in life, their journey in life to move themselves forward on the path that they feel that the God in heaven is moving them to. If you'd like to support me, you can often find me. I'm pretty easy at the present moment to see because I no longer have my business vehicle that was fully paid for by my original father who helped me to care for something when it happened to me. I'll be honest, it was an incredible gift. But people in a family and people and then stranger networks harmed it and ruined it and stole it from me. So my fully paid for business vehicle is no longer with me, which means I am a mobile person walking through the police brutality of them ripping out my ACL, right? Anterior cruciate ligament. If you don't know what that is, look it up online. It's a part of an important part of our walking. I have also experienced all kinds of other physical assault mutilations and molestations that I don't really care to talk about, but people do that who want to be in power over people like me. The liars of the land steal intellectual property, steal rights on our computers, steal rights off networks, and do this out of a gaming mentality. They never stop to consider what could happen if a military officer discovered their attack on human life. It is a form of treason to do this. It is a violation of our Constitution to do that. It is totally a violation of the Bill of Rights to interfere with anyone's personhood, their body, anyone's paperwork, their documents, their legalities, and their property, their possessions that they've earned or were gifted in life. When you do any of those things, you are already illegal, you are already immoral in front of God, and you are totally exhibiting illicit behavior. And that is what people around you don't want to see. In life, we have moments of time to describe what I need. But here's what I think is the best opportunity for you 
if you have that extra cash, if you have that extra resources, if you have a position that is really a position that honors a person who's gone through some sort of struggle, then reach out to them, reach out to me, try to help us to connect them. But here's the reality. The best way to help someone is say, how can I help you today? You probably got a goal for the day. What can my resources or my network do possibly today or in the next couple days to help you move forward? You see, a month later is too late. Six months later is too late. Do not promise things that you don't have the right to promise. But do take time to help someone eat today.